Dr. Mo, why would you recommend me, a young, healthy male, take to Dalafil? Is that not Cialis? Isn't that just for erectile dysfunction? Why, yes, when we think of Tadalafil, aka Cialis, we often do think about its benefits for sexual dysfunction. However, it does have a lot of other benefits on testosterone and blood flow that you may not be aware of. Tadalafil increases androgen receptor density, therefore making whatever testosterone you have more potent. Tadalafil also reduces the expression of aromatase. This is the enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen and helps you have a more optimal ratio of testosterone to estrogen. One of Tadalafil's main mechanism of action is blocking the enzyme that shrinks your blood vessel. So by blocking the enzyme, our blood vessels remain wide and open, thus giving better blood flow not only to your penis, but also to your brain and to your muscles. This can result in better performance in the gym and also improve your mood and cognitive function. Why it makes sense that studies are starting to show they can help prevent Alzheimer's and also heart disease. Tadalafil has also been shown to help guys who are having urinary symptoms from benign prostate hyperplasia. So as you can see, Tadalafil has a plethora of benefits aside just from its benefits in improving sexual function. What is my favorite way to take Tadalafil aka Cialis? I personally like using these trochies for a couple of different reasons. One reason, as you can tell, is they're very easy to divide. They come in these starburst-like shape with quadrants cut out, so with a butter knife, you can slice them up. So if I have a 20 milligram troche, I can easily cut that into fives and even smaller. They usually taste pretty good. They're absorbed faster than anything else that you're ingesting. When you take things orally, after they're digested, they get into your bloodstream and they go to your liver. Your liver gets rid of half of that medication. This is called first pass metabolism. By taking a medication that is absorbed underneath your tongue and your buccal mucosa, you're bypassing the medication having to go through the liver. This makes the medication more effective because you're not discarding half of it. As you can see, there's a couple of good reasons that I like using the trochi drug named Cialis. Why would we look at these other medications like Sildenafil, drug named Viagra, or verdenafil, drug name Levitra. I'd say a couple different things. The half-life, the potency, and the side effects are all different between these. In my clinical experience, the drugs that have the shorter half-life are often stronger for erectile dysfunction, but have a greater capacity to induce side effects. When we look at sildenafil, it has the shortest half-life. It's the most potent. It's, it often works the best for guys who are struggling with erectile dysfunction, but it often induces the most amount of side effects. Verdenafil is somewhere in between, and verdenafil also seems to really help with premature ejaculation and also decreasing the refractory period, meaning the time between orgasms for a guy, but has less side effects than sildenafil. And then on the end, we have tadalafil, which has the longest half-life which I would argue is the least potent of all three, but seems to have the least amount of side effects. So there is a difference between these three medications. That's why it depends on what your symptoms are and why it's important to always work with a practitioner. Well, AKA Cialis, what are the side effects of this drug and others similar like a Viagra or a Levitra? Some guys do experience a little bit of flushing and sometimes some pressure in the forehead. Seems like that vasodilation sets in and gets similar to a sinus pressure headache, which can also lead to a slight bit of vertigo or dizziness, maybe from the flushing, but also some vasodilation, which may be lowering of the blood pressure. Some guys do experience some GI discomfort and particularly looking at GERD, AKA acid reflux, maybe some slight indigestion or nausea. More rare, I've heard of gentlemen's having vision disturbances, in particular, experiencing a blue tint to everything. And last but not least, it seems the vasodilation, the increase in blood flow, sometimes leads to, for lack of a better term, some inflammation. Guys may notice some swelling, some maybe some spasms in some of their muscles, and maybe some achy joints. All of these side effects are very individualized. Due to the chance of side effects, that's why it's important to work with a provider so you and the provider can kind of determine where are these side effects coming from. Is it from this or maybe you had a little bit too much Taco Bell, which you shouldn't be eating anyways. At the end of the day, make sure that you're doing your due diligence to take care of your health. All right, what are some contraindications or some reasons that we shouldn't be using Tadalafil or Cialis? Again, you should always be double checking with your own doctor who's prescribing this. Diseases of the blood like multiple myeloma, leukemia, sickle cell anemia, any type of disease that's going to mess with your clotting or you have a clotting disorder, be mindful. A lot of guys like to mix it with alcohol. Don't do that. Cardiovascular wise, blood pressure issues, cardiomyopathy, heart failure, stroke, heart valve issues, irregular rhythms, 
Again, checking in with your doctor to make sure that you're in shape for sexual activity. GI-wise, we talked about this in the side effects. If you're having ulcers, probably a good idea to stay away from Tadalafil. Vision-wise, think in retinopathy, uh, hearing loss, maybe. And last but not least, thinking about the fibrous tissue diseases of the penis like pyronies. So always run these by your doctor, get educated, make sure you're using these